Bye. The the I had this I fought against uh, Korobov on the date my brother um actually got robbed for his title. That was kind of one of my toughest fights only because you know I was getting ready for a different softball and then five days before the fight he tested uh, positive for steroids so they switched mm -hmm. in this other guy that had been already training and getting ready for me, you know on the on the fly so I was just had to go there and make the best adjustments but at the same time I had a lot going through my head because you know I'm like damn. You know, they robbed my brother with us. They just trying to pull some, you know, scandal shit tonight. But mm. it is what it is. It was one of my, you know, one of my toughest fights, but not one of the toughest fighters I done fought. One of the toughest fighters would have probably been uh, Julian Williams undefeated. Uh, he was another guy. I knocked him out, but he was just another tough dude, but, that, you know, came in with a lot of heart, you know, but it, it, is, it is what it is. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that that couldn't have been a tough fight because uh, the, night, the night they robbed your brother, you beat the shit out. Fight! Derek, I watch you run. Time to run. Derek, how are you? Derek. Derek! Derek! I said you hello! Derek! Derek! Hey Derek, how are you? Derek! Dixie D'Amelio, this is the body shot challenge. Let's go. 15 seconds. Oh, oh my god. I went actually hurt. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'll say it. Oh my god. I literally can't help but scream. <laughs> You know, we're going to do what's possible for me to win. How did you, you know, when you look back on that last fight, a fight that you and some of your people felt that you did win, what types of things do you uh, take from that? Oh, yeah, first of all, you know, it was a close fight. You know, I believe I won that fight. Uh, you know, to be the champion, you got to, like, be convincing. You got to make sure you beat the champion, knock him out, or, you know, make it convincing. Uh, I believe I won that fight, you know, and, um, you know, we got to move past that and now, like, see who's in front of me. And right now in front of me is uh, Payano. you have uh, fathers training sons and I know uh, Teofimo's father kind of a couple of years ago shocked a lot of people he saw you in Madison Square Garden and sort of let you have it uh, in, a, in a rant that uh, you know a lot of people have talked about it's been widely reported when you first saw that and, and that happened what was your reaction did you think this guy's crazy or, or, or what was your reaction to his uh, comments to you uh, I don't. I, I don't remember our first uh, meeting with uh, uh, Lopez uh, family, um, but they are always. They are always. Vitalis uh, uh, was trying to uh, organize our fight. Mm -hmm. So now, now it's happening, and now it's very good for boxing. I'm going to go with that one,